Hello respected viewers welcome to this channel today we have an angle chasing question and it is very interesting question construction based question so i suggest that before moving to the solution pause the video try yourself then you will see that how interesting this question is in the question o is the center of the circle p is any point on the circumference op joint which is radius r is point inside the circle or is joined and from that point r rq is joined where q is on the circumference orp angle is given as 70 degree while angle qrp is 40 degree and we have to find this angle's value angle opq to solve this if we extend pr and qr we will get two chords of the circle here i have extended this pr up to s so ps is chord and qr up to t where here qt is another chord now from the center o if we draw perpendiculars so om is perpendicular drawn to this chord and from this center on is perpendicular drawn to this chord from the center if perpendicular we draw perpendicular to the chord the chord will be bisected so m m is the midpoint of tq here n is the midpoint of ps we can say that tm is equal to mq and sn is equal to np join oq then since this angle is 40 this is 70 70 plus 40 is 110 and subtract 110 from 180 to get this this is also coming 70 now in these two triangles orm and orn this or is common in both the triangles and this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 this is 70 this is 70 so by angle angle side test angle angle side these two triangles are congruent so by as test of congruence triangle orm is congruent to triangle orn so corresponding sides will be equal om is equal to on that corresponding sides of congruent triangles are equal now in triangle omq and onp in triangles omq and O N P first O M is equal to O N proved above second O Q is equal to O P radii third angle O M Q is equal to angle O N P each Ninety degree. So therefore, these two triangles are OMQ is congruent to triangle ONP. By right angle hypotenuse and side test congruency. we can say one more thing by sss test this also will be uh, congruent because the distance between the center and the chord are equal om is equal to on so equidistant chords will be equal and if chords will be equal then their halves will also equal it means we found mq is equal to np mq is equal to np oq is equal to op and om is equal to on to so by sss test these two triangles will be congruent in that way also we can prove after proving that these two triangles are congruent we can say that the corresponding angles corresponding angle of opn opn is equal to angle oqm so therefore angle OPN is equal to angle OPN is equal to OQM. 
that corresponding angle of congruent triangles are congruent we found this result now we can use one concept that if it is a chord and two points are there in same side and the angle subtended this point is here and same side here also another point if this is the angle subtended by this chord this is the angle subtended by this same chord if these two angles are equal we can say that these four points will be concyclic points that means this quadrilateral will be inscribed quadrilateral if ab is a chord and pq are two points in same side and angle apb is equal to angle aqb then points all the four points will be cyclic points concyclic points and uh, because these two angles are equal we found these two angles are equal first so these two angles are subtended by chord or it means we can say that points o r q p o r q and p are concyclic points using this fact since o r q p is a cyclic quadrilateral so taking this chord op op is subtending 70 degree here so this angle will also be 70 and because these two are equal oq is equal to op so it is an isosceles triangle so this angle will be 70 we found that angle opq is equal to 70 degree angle opq is equal to 70 degree and this is the answer